Hello you guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Keisha and today I will be doing a video showing you how to do this here wood grain method on a tray. You can do it um, for tumblers. So for this video, I'll be showing you how to do um, this wood grain look. You need a tray, a tumbler or whatever you're using, but for the sake of this video, I'll be doing it on a tray. You will need alcohol inks. This, oops, sorry, uh, this pack of alcohol inks, you can purchase alcohol inks from uh, Joann's, Hobby Lobby, and Michael's. I believe I got this, um, I believe I got this one from Joann's. And this has the colors caramel, ginger, and latte in it. I also have some, um, other alcohol inks. This is ginger. This is butterscotch. This is espresso. This is latte. Uh, we probably won't use all of them. I just got all of the brown tone colors out just in case. You'll start out with the prep tray. This tray here, I prepped with uh, white spray paint. You can use white primer spray paint. Uh, you can use white flat spray paint. I got this chair tray from the Dollar Tree for a dollar. It comes silver. Let me just show you what it looks like before it's spray painted. I got, a, I got one unpainted over here. So it comes like this from the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree have these trays. They come in this rectangular shape. They come in circular and an oval shape. So this is what my tray looked like before I spray painted it white. I spray painted my tray white, and this is what it looks like, okay? You will also need, you can use these sponge, these sponges to do this. I like to use the sponges. You can also use um, the rough bristle paint brushes. I also have a pair of gloves because I don't want the alcohol inks staining my fingers. So that is pretty much all you would need to do the wood grain method after we do after i show you how to do the wood grain i'll come back with another video showing you how to apply an image and design a tray all right so without further ado let's get to it so here we go i am going to put on my gloves to protect my little fingers from getting stained with alcohol ink i have my tray here that's prepped um, this was sitting out on the side, and I believe this is the spray paint that I used to prep the tray. It says Rust-Oleum Clean Metal Primer. And this is the color white. So you can use primer. You can also use just regular spray paint. I use flat spray paint if I use regular spray paint um, and the color white. So this is what I use to prep this tray. And I just did a, a thin layer, just a single layer to cover the tray. Um, and I also didn't mention, you'll need some uh, alcohol. Just to kind of, because when you're working with the alcohol inks, it kind of starts to, I usually use these sponges and it kind of starts to stiffen it up. So you can just dab a little bit of um, alcohol on the brush to keep it soft. So I'm gonna put, I actually pour some in here already. That's actually enough, but I'm just put a little bit in my little glass bowl here. Um, And this is 70% alcohol. I don't think it matter which percent you have. Um, So I am gonna probably start, like I said, I have all these colors, these brownish tones here, but I probably won't use them all, okay? So, I'm going to take a lot, just drop a little bit. It's really easy. Really easy. It's no right or wrong way um, to do this. Sometimes I usually start out with my lighter color. That was like the butterscotch color. And you just... Dab back and forth. I know it ain't looking like nothing right now, but trust me, in the end, it's gonna be a 
wood grain looking tray. Hello. I probably won't even use my alcohol. Most times I don't even use it. Sometimes I do. Actually, I'll use it just for the sake of this video. Um, Because I feel like when you use the alcohol, it kind of wets the ink and it makes it move more. See how when I go back down here, like it's moving. When you use the alcohol, it makes the ink shift. All right, I'll add a little bit more of my butterscotch on this side. Uh, and I'm just using my sponge, just brushing it back and forth. Just like so. Just like so. Really easy. And I'm just lightly brushing it. All right, so now I'm going to go in. <sighs> I'm going to use the ginger. No certain sequence that you have to use when doing this. I just use the different browns and just mix them. Brush them on and... Just keep brushing. You'll eventually start to see that wood grain looking effect. Like I said, there's no right or wrong way to do this. Everybody do it different. There's more than one way to skin a cat. So this is like sort of the same thing. More than one way to wood grain a tray. Hopefully I'm still in view and y'all can see me. see what this latte gonna do i said i probably won't use all the colors but i don't know i'm just gonna keep messing around till we get the final results that we want to see still using my same brush still using my same brush but i have um added different colors or different alcohol inks sometimes i'll let it sit and dry a little bit and then i'll come back and brush over it but sometimes if you let it see too long sit too long you'll start to see your white come through but it's all right So after I finish wood graining this tray, I'll let it sit and dry. With alcohol, it usually don't, it don't take long to dry. But I'll probably epoxy the tray and then I'll come back and show you how to add a decal um, to a tray. I'm that person, I like to try and do mini crafts. So if y'all have suggestions, y'all can always leave them down below. If y'all have video ideas, anything y'all wanna see or learn how to do, just leave it down um, in the comments. And I'll see what I can do.
けどですね It's starting to look kind of wood grainish. And I know a lot of people they usually use um the alcohol when they do their the knots that be like in trees, like when you cut them down. I actually don't ever do that with my designs. I might try it one day, but. I never really added like the knots because usually I'm doing this and putting a decal over it anyway, so. You go have, for whatever color you like. Like with this tray, I added and added and added. See how this one is lighter than this? So it's different types of wood grain looks you can, um, do or try to go for it's just all up to you and whatever you like let's see this is espresso espresso alcohol ink so let's see it's darker i'm not adding too much but we're gonna make it work we're gonna spread it out Like I said, there's no right or wrong way, no specific order. You don't have to use all these different colors. Um, you really could get the effect using like one color. But. Just add your alcohol inks and just drag it out. Like I say, keep adding until you get get it how you like it. Still using my same brush. One thing with this though, you want to um, make sure you brush in like in the same direction. So if you're going this way, you want to go this way. You don't want to go that way and then go this way. Usually when you have um, wood grain, like it's, it kind of goes in the same direction. So like I said, I wouldn't brush this way and then come back and go this way with the alcohol inks.
So here, I'm just taking my brush and just lightly dragging my alcohol inks this way. Just brushing the inks in different directions. Going this way, just kind of pulling it out to kind of lighten it up in some spaces while keeping it dark in some spaces. No right or wrong way. Like I stated before, just do it to your liking. My alcohol ink here is dry, but we just gonna continue to just push, 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 and move it however we see fit. I'm gonna dab my brush inside of my alcohol. And just watch what happens when I do this. That's why I usually don't like to use it. It makes it really like wet. You can dab it off before you um put it down. But like I said, the alcohol ain't dry real quick, so. If you got alcohol ink somewhere and you just wanna move it around some, dab your brush in your alcohol. Dab it off a little bit. See how I got mine's oversaturated, but it's okay. Just dab it in your alcohol and move your alcohol inks around. That's pretty much all you got to do. I know it probably seemed like this is just a repetitive process, but you just keep keep going and just doing it and you know till you get it how you want it. I could have stopped a long time ago, but I'm just being extra. Being extra. Being extra extra, y'all. This is latte. inks around. My white is popping back through. It's okay. Push and pull your ink. Push and pull your ink. That's how we doing. Pushing and pulling. Pushing and pulling. Pushing and pulling. 
like I said, sometimes I find it easier, like if you let it dry a little bit, don't oversaturate your tray. See right here where it's a little dried up, it's easy like to push it and where you want it and it stick. But it's caramel. I'm turning my brush, but I'm not changing the direction that I'm brushing the alcohol inks in. All right, we're going to try to go in and lighten this up right here a little bit and get rid of those drip lines. And this time, I'm going to dab. You probably can't see it because I'm way over there. So I dabbed my brush inside of my alcohol. I'm going to Dab it off a little bit and then try to go in and I mean, it's still like wet, but try to go in and get rid of those run lines. Lighten this up just a tad bit. I'm probably using too much alcohol. I don't want it oversaturated. But that's the problem I run into when I use um, alcohol. I have it there just 
you know, standby, but I really don't use it. Really don't use it. Dab that again. My brush kind of like dried up. Dried off a bit. And continue the same process. lightly stroking it just to try to move some of the ink. See what happens when you add the alcohol? That's why I don't use it. Like I said, I'm not an expert, but there's no right or wrong way to do this. That's pretty much all you do. It don't take this long to do it either. <laughs> 